Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Prenton Preview. On this side, a Coming up on today's show, we go behind the scenes to Tuesday night's draw against Swindon. Peter Clark gets quizzed by SWA2 members Edward and Alfie. We go behind the scenes to training at the campus. And we get the pre-match thoughts of Mickey Mellon and Jay Spearing. First up on today's show, we go on the road to take a look back at Tuesday night's draw against Swindon. First on the left, yeah. All right, first on the left, yeah. All right, first on the left, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Another good battle and performance by the lads there. Next up, Peter Clark gets quizzed by SWA2 members Alfie and Edward. Guys, you all right? What's happening? You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yes, thanks. Good, good, good. And during the school holidays? Yes. Yeah. Other than today, because it's raining. <laughs> that looks like a proper... Whose bedroom are you then? Um, oh, Nana and Granddad's. Grandad. Oh, Nana and Granddad's. Um, oh, Granddad's office at the moment. Is it? That looks brilliant. That looks brilliant. So I believe you got a few questions for me. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Who wants to go first? Who was your first club when you first started playing? Uh, my first professional club or my first club when I was... Your first professional club. Okay. Um, my first professional club was Everton. So I started there and in those days it was the centre of excellence. I was about 10 or 11, I reckon. Um, and I was there as a YTS and as a young professional uh, and played a few games there. Um, so Everton was my my first professional club quite a few years ago now. Who's the hardest striker you've ever played against? Ooh. As in the best? The best? Yeah. I reckon there's probably two. And uh, yeah heard of Thierry Henry? Yeah. yeah. I played against him a few years ago uh, when he was at Arsenal. He was strong and quick and uh, technically really good. His control was brilliant. And the other uh, is a certain Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, again, I was played against him. played against him a couple of times. Once for when he was at Man United and the other uh, was when I was playing for England under-21s. Um, 
And again, he was fast, he was strong, he was technically really good. And obviously we know uh, he's gone on and made loads of appearances and scored loads of goals. So they're, they're probably the two that I would say have been my toughest opponents. What colour boots do you like to wear? <laughs> um, there's lots of nice ones out there, all sorts of different colours, but I've only ever worn black boots, so uh, I think i better stick with that. I don't think I'm a good enough player to wear coloured boots, bright boots. Uh, what colour do you guys wear? Do you, do you guys play footy? Yes. Yeah. What colours do you wear? Um, I have Random. I ha- I either play in white or yellow and black, one of those. I play in black and purple. Nice. Purple and black and purple and pink. Nice. Who who would you want to sign out of all the players in League Two? Out of all the players in League Two. Ooh. Um Give me a lot to think about now, haven't you? <clears throat> no, I'd like to sign. And he's probably technically he's not in League Two, but I'd like to have Vaughny back. What do you reckon? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, he's good, wasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. technically not in League Two, but. I'd love to have Vaughn back because he scored us loads of goals, but everything he did, he was he worked so hard. He was, he was a great teammate to have. I'm a centre back like you. Oof. Do you have any tips for me? Don't always have to win the ball, so you don't always have to make a tackle. Try and make your opponent beat you. And always work hard, never give up. And always run as fast as you can if the uh, the ball ever goes past you. Have you ever played against Tramia or watched Tramia at Preton Park? Yeah, to both, yes, I have. Um, when I was younger, um, my granddad used to work at Camel Lairds. So uh, sometimes I'd, I'd come across and he'd take me to the game or... Uh, my dad would take me to to various games, uh, and because obviously don't live a million miles away, uh, used to come to Tranmere um, quite a bit. And over the course of time, yeah, I've played against Tranmere. Um, yeah. I don't know how many times, but probably I don't know seven or eight times, maybe a little bit more. Lots. Yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many goals have you scored for Tramir? How many goals? Don't worry if you don't know on this one. I do. I scored five. So, and they were all with my best foot. Now, do you know which my best foot is, boys? Yeah, Ed. What? How oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you're right. All in my head. I like that. Yeah. So five headers. What did you think of Tramia before you came to Tramia? Like I say, um, having my football first started out at Everton and not living a million miles away. I always um, come into games. There was always a real strong work ethic about Tranmere Rovers as a football club. Um, I don't think that's ever been any different, um, and should always should always be the same. Uh, I think Tranmere Rovers as a football club represents its community in a you know fantastically. Um, I think there's a real uh, collective atmosphere between the football club and the supporters, uh, and I'd like to think that the, the there is that between the, the players and, and the club and the fans as well. Um, so even before I, I signed for Tranmere, I always thought it was a 
fantastic football club um, and you know had some fantastic values some fantastic standards that it it was always a hard working football club and, and a, a football club that represents its its local community and its its fan base superbly who did you support when you were a little boy when I was a little boy I was I am a Liverpool fan so do any of you know, I reckon you might do any of you guys know who John Barnes is I'm a of him. No, oh, yes. he won't. No, that's cool. No problem. He played a long time ago, but he was my favourite player. Uh, you might, and if you're allowed, you might have to see if you can find him on YouTube or something. You can see, he was a he was a winger, but he was he was brilliant. Scored goals, made goals, made you jump off off your seat and excited you. So. Uh, if it's still raining this afternoon, you can perhaps um, have a little look and, and see what you think. I have just joined Man City Academy and have nice. you got any tips for me for being in an academy? Yeah. How old are you? Eight. Eight. Well, I would say first, and, and this isn't just now, this is always... Enjoy your football and yeah. always work as hard as you can. And do you play for a local team as well as Man City's Academy? No. No. Well, used to, well. Did you? What position do you play? Yeah. Up front. Nice. Well, I would say. Always enjoy your football. Always work as hard as you can. And if you've got time on your hands, spend time practising with the ball. Just experimenting even. Um, like I say, always enjoy it. Um, I still love playing footy. Um, it's brilliant. So enjoy every moment of it. Um, and congratulations. That's brilliant here at Man City's Academy. Oh, the crowd um, noisy when you're on the pitch. Yeah, the the, the crowd are brilliant. Um, having played against Tranmere over the years, I've always admired the supporters. They they back the team through good and bad times, um, and now I feel very very lucky to be a Tranmere Rovers player and have the fantastic support behind us, behind me, that we do. Um, and to be honest with you, the fans are fantastic. The, 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 there's always so much noise and uh, and so much love um, that it is brilliant uh, when you, you come out before the game uh, to hear the, the fans. Uh, it, it always gives you a little goosebumps on the, you know, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. So, our fans are first class. Do you think we're going to get promoted this year? I think we've got a really, really good chance. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah I do. think so. Hopefully in May we'll all be celebrating and very happy, won't we? Yeah. I think we're going to get to the playoffs all promoted. Me too. That's what we all want, to get promoted. Yeah. Any more questions? Have you got any plans for your afternoon? No, because it's raining. No. Um, no, it's rubbish in inside. there. Inside. Well, I'm going to city training. Are you? What time do you go there? Later. What time Later. You go? Half five. Oh, nice. You're looking forward to it? Yeah. How many times do you train a week? Four. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be bad. We'll play in Middlesbrough on um, Sunday away. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I bet that's going to be an early wake-up, isn't it? Yeah. Too early, probably. Yeah. After have an early night, Saturday night. Can't watch much of the day, can you? <laughs> um. Yeah. You have any more questions, boys? 
No. 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 <laughs> Didn't have exhausted the questions, though. Well, it's been brilliant speaking to you, lads. And I hope I've answered all your questions and you're happy with my answers. Definitely. Uh, and do you get do you come to the games at Prenton Park? Yes. Yes. Brilliant. Season, well, season. when you come, season, season ticket holders. Magic. That's brilliant. When you come, uh, if you ever see me, just shout across, and we can perhaps all get a picture together if you like. Would that be okay. Yeah, we're in the cop sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're season ticket holders for the third cop seat. Brilliant. Do you like sitting on there? I don't. Do you like sitting on the cop? Yeah, definitely. Definitely all the fan part. Yeah. But, but listen, you lads have a, a great. Great afternoon. You enjoy your footy training later and good luck on Sunday. And shall look forward to seeing you down at Prenton Park on well, on Saturday and through the rest of the season. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You take care, lads. And love to your family as well, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. 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 boys. A massive thank you to Alfie and Edward for them questions. And if you want to get in touch and ask your favourite player a question, get in touch with us via Twitter or any social media. And don't forget, if you sign up to our YouTube memberships, you'll get early access to this show, plus exclusive access to loads of other content. Click join on the channel or the link in the description. Next up on today's show, we go inside the campus to see how the boys have been preparing for another tough game on Saturday. Finished! Great save! 
Well done, Strat. Good start. Get in the midst of it again, Strat. Good man. Brilliant greens. Much better greens. What a ball that is. Brilliant. 2-2 two, two greens. And finally on today's show, we get the pre-match thoughts of Mickey Mellon and Jay Spearing. The lads that come in know the standards that we set last year. Um, we want to go one more and we want to complete that, uh, get that promotion. Uh, again, the meeting was, he with the gaffer coming back and ever done the same thing. He's put the same illustrations across that this club needs to get out of this league and we were building a squad to, to get ourselves out of it. So um, the lads who were here last year, even though there is only like obviously four or five of us, maybe something like that, they we've told the lads and they understand coming to this club what this club expects and what the fans expect. So yeah, same end goal at the end of the season is that we want to be we want to be promoted out of this league and um, the gaffer and the club are, are building a squad hopefully to, to do that. And what you've seen in pre-season and since the start of the season, are you confident that you know your targets could be met in you know at the end of the season? Well, yeah, we have to be with confidence. Um, we all know what we want to do, where we want to be come the end of next May. Um, but it's going to be a long time to go in the season. We're going to need everyone in the squad. Like I've already mentioned, I think the gaff is building the squad ready to to fight on all fronts. Um, we've got competition in places all over the pitch. Um, and if anything, it brings the competitive side out of it. It's a great set of lads. Um, a lot of boys that we all know and that have played over the years. But yeah, it's a great mix. And pre-season was great to have as many of them, as many of them in the building as quickly as we could to really build that connection and build that bond. And I think in the first couple of games, we've shown what that bond and what that connection is and the togetherness that we have in the squad already. I know you we wanted more, but it's been a solid start, hasn't it? Yeah, we know it's a brick in the air because we're just out to try and do well every day in training and, and improve as a group. We're still a very new group, uh, but the players have attacked or are, are attacking all the challenges that we're putting in front of them. We're still asking them for more. We're still de demanding more of our ourselves all the time. We want to improve. And there's definitely areas of the game that we know that we must we must get better at. But the, the important thing is that, from my point of view as a manager, that the players are buying into that. And, and, and yeah, that they want to attack improvement all the time, which is great. So that's all we're doing all the time is just bit by bit trying to get better in all the parts of the game that... Um, we want to get better as, as individuals and as better as, as, a, as units. So it's it's a good place at the minute. It's very good. Very experienced team. They, 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 they've done the playoffs now year after year. So they have a, a, a management staff and a, and a playing staff that know what it takes over a 46-game season in order to try and get yourself into the playoffs. They're very experienced at it. So, yeah, they'll know um, what it takes to, to, try and, to try and get that. So we, we know that... The challenge is, is there for us, but we have a very experienced football club that does that, and all year in Europe um, makes the, the playoffs. So we'll uh, use our experience in order to try and do that as well. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Prenton Preview. Don't forget, if you can't make the game on Saturday, commentary is available for £2.50 on iFollow. I hope you enjoyed the show, and we look forward to seeing everyone here on Saturday. <laughs> On this side, a carrot! Yeah! And now the champion!